Alright YouTube, welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a very simple UI and this is basically, and you click this and you would battle, etc. So, this is uh, quite simple. I'm going to try to explain this uh, for you guys so you can follow along. Um, yeah, you don't have to be a designer to make this, so let's get right into it. We're going to make a new layer. You can also use Photopea. It's quite similar to Photoshop, so... Yeah, new layer is down here. Just hit the plus icon. We go to my rectangle tool, and up here, this is the corner radius. Increasing this number will adjust the, uh, will adjust how round the corner is. So, judging by how this looks, I want to go for 50. By the way, my canvas size in pixels is 1920 by 1080. So, let's try 50. Alright, it's way too low. We're gonna have to go up to 85. It's trial and error. 85 is a bit too high. Let's do 75. This seems fine. I'm just gonna make this right here. Drag this down. Alright, so if you double click right here, you can also change the color. But this has a slight gradient. So we're going to right click, blending options. We're going to go for a gradient overlay, change the angle to 90 degrees, we're going to click on this box, double click right here to change the color, select the bottom color, we're going to click here and select on the top color. Now as you can see we have a nice gradient. Okay so now you're going to want to hold alt on your keyboard, we're going to drag this rectangle layer down and once you let go this will make a copy. And we're just going to drag this down right here, as you can see. You're going to take this FX icon right here and drag this into the trash can. This will remove the gradient um, that we have. You're going to double click right here to change the color. I'm just going to click. And now as you can see, we have this 3D uh, button effect. There is also a slight shadow here, so we're going to copy this thing once more. Drag this down. This time we're going to change the color to black and lower the opacity to 15 or 10. Should work right here. Now, as you can see, we have the button base. Now, let's make this little timer icon up here. We're going to make a new layer. We're going to go back to our rectangle tool. This time, we're going to drop the radius. I'm going to try 20. Right, that should work fine. We're going to make a rectangle. Double click. We're going to change the color. And to make this shape, you're going to hit Ctrl T on your keyboard. And right click and hit Perspective. Drag these corners. And now, as you can see, we will have the shape. We're going to hit Ctrl T and rescale this. Alright, looks fine. And now you can put the timer, so hit T on your keyboard to access the text tool and type. Right, the font size is way too big, but 23 hours, 59 minutes. We go for bold, just place this right here. You can also add the little icon. Uh, for this in the middle, I have the crossing swords icon that I made in the last video. You guys can go ahead and watch that. Place the icon right here. And now we're just going to type out our text. Battle. Control A. Select the color. The text will be right here. Make sure that I get this accurate. accurately. So extra bold. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me show you guys. This is the button. Um, in the corner, it looks something um, like this. It looks perfect, actually. This is a fantastic style, as you can see. It looks great. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys like these kind of UI videos, I could do a full UI set tutorial in the future. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for all your support. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.